we do? How are you? We're here in the Star City of the South, ready to unravel some more mysteries of Roanoke's history. I'm Daniel. And I'm Abby. And we're the Star City Sleuths. across from the art museum. We wondered, what is Agency anyway? Agency Coffee was started by brothers Harold and Clarence Woods in 1927. Right here in Roanoke. In the 1940s, Harold took a trip to New York. He loved the cool neon signs all over the place. So when he got back, he asked a local sign company to help him make a sign for his roasting plant on Campbell Avenue. It stayed there until 1960s. In 2005, it was fixed up and shine, and it was moved to the place where it lives now. Agency Coffee Company was passed down in the family to Sons of the Woods Brothers, but the flood of 85 hit them hard and eventually closed in 1989. In 1990, private investors reopened it as Agency Coffee Company. Later in 2000, the coffee company was purchased by Quality Coffee Company, another Roanoke born and bred company. So the next time you pass that coffee pot, remember Harold and Clarence Woods. We're here at the corner of Jefferson and Church to look at some cool painted signs. You need a biscuit. I do. The You Need a Biscuit was created in 1899 by the National Biscuit Company. It was the first company to advertise a packaged ready to eat food. They're really soda crackers, not biscuits. This was probably originally painted in 1901. Did you know the National Biscuit Company is now called Nabisco? If Dr. Pepper flows like the Roanoke River through our valley, then Pepsi fills the streams. This old sign is a good example of Roanoke's love for Pepsi Cola. Not as much as Dr. Pepper. But we don't ever really see carriages anymore. 
the Virginia Carriage Company was right here on Church Avenue beginning right around the turn of the century. They made carriages and buggies. And etc. Those carriages and buggies were pulled by horses that may have stopped by the Dogmouth Fountain. For only 10 cents, you can buy one package of the King of, the King of Wheat Foods and a Pepsi Cola. <laughs> Another cool sign is the Roanoke Glass Shop sign here on Salem Avenue. This sign is not as old, being painted in 1945. It's still located in the same place today. But right next door is the former location of the Peerless Candy Company. This candy factory opened in, in 1917 and still has the name painted on the side of the building today. Did you know that the men who painted the signs on the sides of the bricks are buildings are called wall dogs? because they were chained on the wall all day painting the signs. Well, Roanoke sure does have a lot of cool and interesting signs around town. I don't know which is my favorite. I know which is your favorite. <laughs> well, that about wraps up our sibling today. We hope you enjoyed. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and check us out on Spreadshirt. That's www.starcitysleuths.spreadshirt.com. And tell all your friends. And we'll see you next time on Star City Sleuths. We're here at the corner of Okay, you gotta be quiet. Okay, ready? Pickles and popcorn. Fries.